Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Outside, enjoying a beautiful evening. I got a cardinal that's going to compete with me here. Hey, beer mail showed up today uh, from Johnny in Ohio. Um, if you haven't checked out Johnny's channel, you got to do it. Johnny's at Crafty Beer Reviews. Uh, three words, Crafty Beer Reviews. Check him out. This guy's chilling on the couch and checks out beers from all across the country, actually all around the world. I love watching his show. Insightful, good palate. The guy knows what he's talking about. Um, I had sent uh, Johnny some uh, little love from uh, Minnesota a few weeks ago, and the guy came through and uh, returned the favor. Um, let me let me jump right into what what I got. Uh, it's a it's a prime package here. Uh, it, it's it's a lot of love from Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, the Columbus Brewing Company, their pale ale, um, he said this isn't more than a week or so old, so I gotta get this reviewed real quick. But that Columbus pale ale, that'll be, uh, let's see, let's see if we can get this on here. Next one, uh, next one is Jackie O's. It's the Brick Kiln Barley Wine Style Ale from Brewed and bottled by Jackie O's, 2014, Athens, Ohio. So a nice pale ale, a nice uh, barley wine. We've got, uh, I've never had any of these. I've heard a bunch about them. Um, Hop and Frog. Hop and Frog Brewing Company, Akron, Ohio. This is Boris the Crusher Oatmeal Imperial Stout. 9.4% ABV. I have never had a hopping frog. You know what? This is what we're reviewing tonight. We'll get to the rest of the bottles here. I'm going to tie in a little uh, a little review with... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not just going to show you what I got. I'm going to drink what I... Oh my god. Check out that motor oil. That is absolutely... Look at that big head on there. That's not jet black. Uh, gold gold medal winner Imperial Stout 2008-2011 at the Go uh, Great American Beer Festival. Hop and Frog Brewing, Akron, Ohio. Um, 9.4% ABV. Keep refrigerated. Oh my God. There's no way you're seeing through that. And the, the head... Uh, almost non-existent right now. Um, oh my, I can smell it right, I mean from a foot away. Dark fruit right away. Chocolate. Oh, there's coffee, caramel. This is a stout that I, what was it? Oatmeal, imperial, I'm sorry, an oatmeal imperial stout. I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be smoother than smooth. Just chocolates and coffees, and then all it's almost as if it's a barrel aged. There's caramel and toffee notes, some vanilla. Oh, jeez. Cheers, Johnny. I, I'm thinking I'm going to be thanking you soon. Oh, my. Right away, there is that, that dark fruit, um, some, it, oh, it's chocolate, it's, uh, malty, chocolate, caramel, that toffee, uh, vanilla that I had, there's a little, you can taste that, uh, that alcohol in there, there's a little drying. And then there's this hoppiness. I'm getting this hoppy sensation towards the end that I don't normally get on a lot of uh, uh, imperial stouts, oatmeal stouts. Um, let's uh, let me get. We're gonna I'm gonna move these guys down the ladder. Oh, this is awesome. To go along with. Uh, with Boris the Crusher, I've got another one from Hop and Frog, barrel aged Boris. Check that out, barrel aged Boris, another 9.4 percent. 
uh, stout aged in whiskey barrels. So it's what I'm having tonight, but then put into a barrel. And you know how I fall in love with things that have been in a barrel. Um, not to not to get away from Hop and Frog, but I've got Doris the Destroyer Double Imperial Stout, 10.5% ABV. Another one from Hop and Frog. So Doris is the Double Oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. Oh. And that is, yep, Russian Imperial Stout. And the barrel aged version, barrel aged version of Doris the Destroyer Double Imperial Stout, Stout aged in whiskey barrels, 10.5% ABV. You seeing a theme here? This guy knows what I'm loving. And then, uh, not to be outdone by the others we've got one made just for Ohio Ohio's got some rules about uh, alcohol volume where we can have some pretty high ABVs here in Minnesota I guess Ohio you can't I'm not sure what the upper limit is but this one is 11.5 percent ABV and it is the Ohio from clown shoes it's the Ohio Unidragon where uh, I just reviewed the uh, the Blakehorn Unidragon that we get out here because of the ABV they gotta drop the ABV so they've got one made just for Ohio and that is so funny um, well we'll we'll definitely be reviewing that actually I'd like to take that side by side with uh, one of the others and see what uh, um, see how they taste side by side the the higher ABV versus the other so anyways Check out the package of love from Ohio, uh, Johnny man, I owe ya. This is right in, I mean, start with a nice pale ale and that's gonna get reviewed quick and then we go into barley wine, stouts, barrel aged stouts. Um, this is my wheelhouse gang, absolutely my wheelhouse. Um, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. as I was talking through all these that hop that I was tasting dissipated and I had nothing but caramel and a, a nice sweet chocolate coating my mouth the hot as this is warming a little that hop is a little more present towards the end of the palate but right away I mean right away milk chocolate some dark chocolate there's a coffee taste in there all those things that I normally associate with barrel aging, the, the caramel, the vanilla, that toffee, are all mixed in there, swirling about. This has got so much going on. It is so smooth. Coats your mouth. Um, this is a 9.75. Just an awesome beer. Um, this is one that I wish uh, that we could get out here. Uh, Hop and Frog, if you guys could distribute to Minnesota, please. Um, I'd love it. Um, 9.75 um, if you guys have tried it put some notes down below uh, about the beer again it's uh, from Hop and Frog Brewing Company Akron Ohio Boris the Crusher Oatmeal Imperial Stout that's what you're looking for and then also uh, crafty beer reviews uh, check out Johnny check him out sitting on the couch enjoying himself enjoying a good beer Check that cat out and uh, subscribe to his channel if you haven't done it already. Um, Johnny, I owe you, man. Uh, this I this one outdid the package I sent to you. I, I, I owe you. Anyways, hey world, uh, share some beers. Find people and start sharing uh, if you haven't done it uh, so far. You get some real treats from across the country and you can share some of the love from your state. But um, Thanks for uh, sharing a beer with me, world. And it was a winner. Cheers, world.